A litter pick with a difference. An estimated 70% of plastic rubbish which enters the sea sinks, according to the organisation Dive Against Debris. So here in Cornwall, divers have joined forces to carry out an underwater beach clean. I set it up was just purely because there's a need for it. Um, I came down here with my wife, Rachel. Uh, we had a snorkel. Absolutely stunning spot. Really, really beautiful snorkel. Half of the beach is completely littered with debris. Absolutely thousands and thousands of anything from tiny little bits, which are, are really dangerous because they're the ones that get ingested, to large tips of pot and net. And it's a problem that stretches far beyond these shores. Scientists believe the world's oceans contain 8 million tonnes of plastic, enough to cover an area twice the size of London to ankle depth. While the amount littering beaches in the UK has increased by 140% since 1994, because much isn't biodegradable, meaning there are an estimated 2,500 items of rubbish for every kilometre. So the beach also receives attention in an effort to preserve wildlife. Marine pollutants do have a big impact on the what's it, marine e ecosystem, which the beach is an important part of. And so you know, helping to keep them clean and remove plastics in particular, they're very hazardous to uh, animals and seabirds. As well as taking rubbish out of the ocean, volunteers at Land Silos Beach are also putting marine life back in to help combat the effects of polluted water. The National Lobster Hatchery has released 550 crustaceans into this bay alone. The, the population is nowhere near what it used to be and we've seen in other areas of the world, in you know, Scandinavia and the Mediterranean and other places that harvest lobsters uh, like we do have had uh, big problems with their populations and, you know, in, in, in some areas they've become extinct and not recovered. All the litter collected by these divers will be weighed and as much as possible will be recycled. Caroline Rigby. BBC News.